All right, so a lot of movement today in the NFL. Uh, Matt already just told me, yes, I mean, everybody like, comment, and subscribe because there's 60 fucking viewers in the chat. Everyone work. You already know what time it is. It's Mo Sports TV. We up. We live. 103 in the chat. Come on. Stop playing with me. Say what's up in the chat if you fucking with us. We here. It's live. You know what time it is, baby. But um, yeah. a lot of a lot of movement today, man. We could talk about Bradley Chubb to Miami. Yeah, That's the first thing we're going to talk about. This what? is crazy because that defensive line is already pretty nasty. So this move, does it put them over the edge in terms of being a Super Bowl contender? I don't, I don't know. What do y'all think? I don't know. You got no. to a defense right now? I mean, no, no, not yet. I mean, they're, they're there. What up, Jordan? What's good, baby? Um, I, I don't know yet. I mean, they gave up Chase Edmonds, right? And they gave up a second rounder? Or first? They no, gave up a first? first? It was a first, first round pick. It was uh, the 49ers first round pick. For, the 49ers former first round pick. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. I mean... GM is definitely saying fuck them picks. You ain't lying. That's a fact. You ain't lying on that. And um, yeah, man, I could definitely see Miami making some real noise now that everybody's healthy. I mean, but that that goes through the Bills. The AFC runs through Buffalo right now. <laughs> that I AFC mean. East is still gonna have to go through the Bills at the end of the day. I mean, they beat them though. They already beat them once this year. I think it's the Bills only loss. What's good, baby? What's up? Oh, man, the chat is on fire, man. Hey, I appreciate all y'all for pulling up, man. Make sure y'all follow, like, and subscribe to everything. Every fucking, every fucking platform that we got, man. If you really fucking with most sports. But, um, yeah, the Dolphins shit, man. really, they, pl they plug in. Obviously, Chase Edmonds is out. He was kind of stalling the offense a little bit. They plug in Jeff Wilson Jr. now from the 49ers. And then they add Bradley Chubb to the defense. I don't know. I like it a lot. <laughs> They're tough. We'll They're see. tough. We'll, we'll see, see what happens. Um, Tua has to stay healthy. Obviously, that's a big factor in all this uh, is Tua. Yeah. Um, but he's proven me wrong since the offseason. I've said Tua was a bum. He can't throw far. This down the third. But he's been getting the ball to his guys. Waddle yeah. has been Waddle has taken easy, another bro. step up. If y'all got Waddle in fantasy, Ooh. he won you this week probably. I mean, he just – he would go – he goes crazy. He Ty explodes. Tyreek Hill is Tyreek Hill. He hasn't changed one bit since Kansas City. Um, they got a squad, man. And and adding on, also, they just got Jeff Wilson Jr. in the trade today. That's gonna add some uh some some running back death to the to the already Mostert that they got back there. If he could stay healthy, I mean Mostert's a great running back. It's just his health is yeah, always a question. Horrible. So you gotta get a backup for him. I mean, that's just it's ridiculous how it is high ankle sprains just every season, it seems like. Usually is a day. It's not a All right, no, so. Last year was high ankle sprain with the 49ers, no? What's his day? He, he, he's, had, he's had history of high ankle. He gets split. All right, so let's go on to another trade. I mean, the most players traded in NFL history at the deadline today. This is the most players. players ever traded in NFL history at the deadline. It was active as fuck. And the Giants ain't do shit, but we're going to get back on that. We're going to get back on that. What happened yesterday, though? Roquan Smith to the Ravens. That was a nice move for Ooh. Baltimore. I don't like, I don't like it. Because, bro, I don't Why like don't it. you like it? I don't like it because of this. They need a fucking receiver. I mean. They need a receiver, bro. They don't, <laughs> bro, they don't care about receivers, they though. The and they'll the never most. get a receiver. I don't understand they that, will bro. never, ever, ever, ever get a receiver. I as mean, long as. Lamar Jackson is there. They're not going to prioritize wide receivers. Team. I mean, anytime Car Harbaugh is coaching that team, they have they run the least amount of three wide receiver sets in yeah, the no, league, bro. bro. It's nasty. <laughs> Yo, niggas is violating. <laughs> he said, "Let's talk about them bum ass Giants that lost to the Seahawks." No, we're going to talk the trade deadline first, and then we going we going to get into the recap. Um, another interesting trade: Calvin Ridley to the Jags. For a third and a fifth rounder. This is a move that I'm kind of upset the Giants didn't make right here. Because if we're really going to punt on the wide receiver position. And we're not going to uh, uh, address the wide receiver position to the offseason. This, this could have been a great move to have the wide receiver of the future. The number one for Daniel Jones or whomever our quarterback is next year. So, like, I don't know. This, this is a... This is a very good move for the Jags, I feel like, period, bro. 
the Jags are trying to build for the future. And I mean, it's kind of funny because Calvin Ridley got suspended for his gambling issue, you know, betting on football. And he actually bet on the Falcons to beat the Jags last season. Is it? And then gets traded to the Jags. I mean, you as a a player under contract, it's just you're not. I just don't get it. I think it's stupid. I mean, I don't know. You shouldn't be able to bet against your team. But I guess if you're betting like, yeah, we're going to win, which Calvin Ridley was doing, I could I could see the argument there. I, I like the move for the Jags. Um, I think it's going to be very interesting next year. Trevor Lawrence, Christian Kirk, we Calvin Ridley, ETN. I mean, ETN. Yeah, they got a, they got a decent. They got a, Evan Ingram. <laughs> God. This is a sick Negro. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um, Hawkinson to the Vikings. That was another great move. I think that might have been the move. Of the trade deadline for me, like that, that really uh, put the Vikings offense to a whole nother level. Once again, I thought they were already damn near unstoppable, but adding a tight end like TJ Hawkinson, when they were really successful last year, they had Rudolph going crazy. I feel like Hawkinson is an upgrade over Rudolph. He's faster than Rudolph. He has just as better hands as Rudolph. He can block like Rudolph. I mean, they kind great of move. Him. Great fucking move. He's going to yeah. be wide open. If anybody is in fantasy and has TJ Hawkinson, you're you better good. start that man right fucking you're now. Up. You you're are up something up. crazy, bro. I'm, I can't lie. They gave the position to Irv Smith, and then he really kind of didn't pan out. He was a bum, bro. It was weird. Her, I don't know. He has such good potential. Like He's <laughs> such an athlete, but it's just it's whack to see how bad he's been for them. But, I mean, it, good for them. This is a fitting offense, I don't think. I mean. Yeah, I guess, but it's it's good for them now that they're kind of seeing and taking advantage of like, hey, this is our window to win. Aaron How? Rodgers is, you know, taking a step back, popping his perks. And Let's Irv Smith is out, so I guess so, that's a good yes, reason as to leaves. why. So, exactly, they yeah. jumped on that. The news got broke this morning, and then they made They did the not Rockets. play around. How far did they make it in the playoffs? Shit, bro, that division. <laughs> as long as I they mean, got Kirk theirs. Cousins, they're not making it far. I'm letting you know right now. And the, the NFC is garbage, though. This is the whole thing. The NFC is garbage. When I tell they you are, about Kirk Cousins, though, primetime games, he is. He shits his pants. We he, know. It's bad, it's bro. It's nasty. And all we'll playoff games, obviously, are primetime. So, I don't know. It's just, it is a little concerning because it's just how far can the Last they time go? they were in the playoffs, they scored like three points. They need to go into the playoffs with Dalvin Cook fully healthy, everybody fully healthy. I mean, right now they're getting Dalvin Cook the ball and Alexander Madison, and that's how yeah. they're really doing damage. So I don't know. I like what they got going on right now. And if the defense could hold up, I don't know. I think they can make an okay run. The NFC is just like the I NFC think they can at, me- at least make it to the second round, at least bare minimum. I don't know about no NFC championship game. I don't know about all that now, but I will say. They could definitely make it to the divisional round bare minimum. Is there? They a, might just get a bye. You don't know. Is there a they're proven six, team? They're six and one. Is there a proven so playoff team. Team seven and one in the NFC right now? Huh? Is there a proven playoff team in the NFC right now? Nah, not really. <laughs> Look, no, I, I would it's say wide open. it's a wide open conference. Obviously, the Eagles are in first. Hey, Jordan. Eat a Frank, bro. If you don't like, if I tagged you, get out. Get out the group. Get out. <laughs> I'm just playing. All respect, all love. Um, but I'm uh, still going to tag you. I'm still going to tag you. Corey, I'm still going to tag you. really leave. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to tag whoever I want, when I want, how I want. And that's because guess what? This is most sports, and this is how we do shit. And we appreciate the support. Awesome. But but we love everybody in the support. <laughs> I love all the support, though. I really do. I appreciate everybody in the chat right now. All fifty two of y'all for real. But um, <laughs> what's another? What's Get another him out of there! You hear me? You hear me, <laughs> Dewan? You hear me? Get him out! <laughs> I don't care. I'm gonna tag who I want. But um, what are teams that should have made moves at the deadline that just? Kind of sat on their hands. Giants. Who do we think? I mean, the Giants. Sure, that's a big. Really that's a go, big one. I think I should I try to get a receiver. Because I think, they said they've said previously that they're not willing to mortgage receiver, the future. Bro. I mean, that, yeah, I but do you want to trade for Brandon Cooks mm, and then have a nineteen million dollar cap? You, 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 
fuck is it yesterday? Like two days ago. What are I, you yes, talking about? Until now? I realized all no, of a sudden man. next year he's making nineteen. Do you million. realize until right till you realize you're not getting nobody? That's what you, that's what you Bro, I don't want to pay nineteen million next year. Be positive, bro. I, like I don't want to pay look, nineteen million look, next year. Corey, how do you feel? I Matt's feel not like realistic. All right. I'm gonna be realistic. I wanted the Giants to do something. But once I once once I found out Brandon Cooks was getting paid eighteen million dollars next year, I, I found this out three days ago. I found this out three days ago. So I'm like, we're not gonna get Cooks. Judy, the Broncos are they we're trying to fleece us for no, not even a third. They want a second. They want a second for Judy. Judy's not worth a second. That's not happening. I'm sorry. Um, the Giants' plan all along this whole time is obviously the long term. We can't give up assets. We can't do this. We can't do that for a wide receiver that's not going to absolutely change everything at that time. Like A.J. Brown, for example, for the Eagles, changed everything. Stephon you know what I'm Diggs. saying? Right. Stephon Diggs changed everything. Brandon Cooks is not going to change everything. Jerry Judy is not going to change everything. Chase Claypool, by the way, who, who f- yo, the Steelers, Shout out to the Steelers for fleecing the fuck out of the Bears, by the way. Because the Bears got fleeced the fuck down for a second pick for Chase Claypool. Not worth it. Very, very poverty organization over there. Bears are down there with the Texans for sure. It's bad, bro. NFL franchises. The Jags are trying to get up out the mud. I respect it. Um, But yeah, I don't know. Who's trying to get up out the mud? The Jags. Oh, the they're Jackson, they're yeah. attempting, you know. This move for Calvin Ridley was trying to build around Trevor Lawrence market, in the future. So. But yeah, I don't I don't know. The Jags at least tried. The Bears, they got Ryan Poles as their GM, thinking like shit was gonna get sweeter, shit was gonna get better. <laughs> they were gonna do this, they were gonna do that. They arguably just got worse. They got worse with Ryan Poles at GM. I don't know what's going on, bro. Yeah. I don't know what's going and on with the Bears. It's looking was, real bad. I thought it was really interesting. Clay, Chase Claypool's average depth of target, right? So how far out on the field he is when his quarterback is targeting him is 11.7 yards. I don't know if Justin Fields can consistently throw the ball that far. We don't see him Just, ever throw the ball that Justin far. Justin Fields is dog shit. <laughs> He's bad. He's, I don't think Tom. Bad. Tom, bro, Judy for a second, bro. No, there's no way I would have did that, bro. There's no way. There's no way. Judy's not worth a second, bro. He's worth a fifth. He's worth a fifth rounder. That boy gets hurt a lot, man. A lot. A lot. He just, he's coming off an ACL tear. Like, a lot. God. I yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. There's a lot of you know talent. Joe Shane said he likes a lot of the talent in this coming draft in terms of wide receivers. So we're gonna get know. a first I, round. Who said Claypool's the best wide receiver? No, I think it's that other dude. Who's that other dude? Moody, whatever it is. Darnell Moody. Yeah, Darnell yeah, Moody's Darnell way better solid. than Claypool. And honestly, Darnell Moody might see more fantasy production now that he's gonna be running shorter routes. I feel like they're on the same tier. Fun. Damn near. I don't know, no, but. <laughs> Claypool is not no second round talent. Oh, yeah. I thought he tore his Claypool like, is not a second round talent. talent. Nah, he 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 hurt his shit in the Giants game fucking last year. Oh, yeah. But um like like you said the Giants we're going to get a first round wide receiver. We have over 60 million plus in cap space going into the offseason. That w- if we would have traded for Cooks, that would have turned into 42 real quick, nah, right? You don't so that. like uh, a third of that out the way. Uh, we're already paying fucking Kenny Galladay nineteen a year, or more than that. I feel like I think I think Why we're paying him more than nineteen field? a year. Please. Why is he not he's on hurt. the field right now? Is he hurt? Like, is it? I feel like they're giving them the Tony treatment. Exactly. I feel like the Giants are giving Galladay the Tony treatment. They're not even trying to pay this motherfucker. I mean, play him, and they were trying to trade him. Obviously, nobody wanted him, but I, don't know. I, I, I like guess he's got to come back. Like, no team wanted to take a flyer on that, I guess, because of the contract. The contract so all day yeah, long. So but here's the thing that I saw well, today. That is true. This is the thing I saw today from uh, the score is that Joe Shane said that he's going to talk to Odell once he's healthy. So that could very well be a possibility for I'm the Giants. Odell's just using the Giants on social media. Yeah, but the GM, that. this is the first time the GM actually came out and said, I'm going to speak to Odell once he's healthy. And yeah. it's an option that we're going to take. Cool. So we'll see what happens. Yep. I, and if we don't take him, two fine, games, whatever. Two games in, he's going to tear his ACL. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I mean, two ACL tears? That's two, problem, bro. bro. That's crazy. This shit's made out of turkey bacon in there. Like, that's turkey crazy. bacon. <laughs> I think it was on the opposite. Like, it was one on the other. That was the same one. Same one? Same oh, yeah, one twice. Done. 
yeah, I don't know. Like you're telling me he's not like, I don't know. You're telling me he's not favoring that even a little bit. Like you saw that clip of JK Dobbins where he kind of like limped gingerly. And then I, I had sent that to John Muir and he was like, nah, bro, he's fine. He's, kinda, he's gonna get a full workload. And then all of a sudden he's out because that. he has knee soreness. Like I wouldn't be surprised if that same type of thing happens with Odell. Like it is serious conditioning and stuff that goes into that. And after two ACL tears, bro, it's I hard to come back from it. That's tough. So, all right. So, Andy said that OBJ is going to be a bill, but you know who else just became a bill is Naheem Himes. Mm. Is that going to make a difference for the Bills at all? I feel like it's still very crowded. Out of the backfield, I really think that that could add some dynamic of like some more checkdowns and not to, you know, Singletary. The Singletary gets the ball and he's like, he just runs it into the ground. I think Naheem Hines adds a little more versatility, but I don't know. I was always the James Cook guy. I preferred him to get some more reps over anybody in that backfield. Thank you, Andy. I I I, I was impressed with that transition. I can't lie. That was a pretty good transition. I'm getting better as a host, ain't I? 